How you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I've got a very interesting radio for you. I've been watching, well, I kicked the camera. That didn't take very long. I've been watching a couple of radios for several months. This is one of them. Um, this one, I've been hesitant to get it because it, I consider it overpriced. It was normally $45. And I thought for what the radio looked like, I'm going to kick the camera again. This is going to be a kick the camera show. Um, I thought that was too much money. So I put it on my watch list. And um, a couple of days ago, it went on sale for $28.99, down from $45. Now, this does come in various colors. And to get the $28.99 color, you have to get the yellow, which I don't mind having a yellow. Matter of fact, it stands out. It's an emergency radio. Should be yellow. So I don't have any problem with it. So this is what it is. Let me get the manual here. I can reach it too. Okay. There is the name of the, come on camera, stay focused. Get a hold of steady here. There's the name of the seller. I can't pronounce this. And, of course, my camera won't. There we go. There we go. Now you can see the seller. So this is sold by many people or many companies on Amazon and elsewhere for various prices up to $45. So this particular company had the yellow one on sale for $28.99, so I grabbed one. What you get with the radio, you get the manual. You get a carrying pouch, nice, kind of silky pouch. You get a carrying strap you can add to it if you want to. You get the charging cable. You get, with this option, now there's other ones that cost more and they don't give you this, is a little 10-foot um, wire antenna with a clip to clip it on to the telescopic antenna and a spring to um, give it a little give so you don't break anything. Nice little feature. And then the radio. The radio is, let me put the antenna down so I don't break it, is AM, FM, NOAA, NOAA weather, and shortwave. The short wave goes from 4.75 to 21.85, where most of the international broadcast stations are. Um, it has a ATS mode, automatic tuning and storage. It has an MP3 player. There's a little slot right there that you put your little MP3 or your memory card in with music files. There is the charging port. This is the little handle or attachment to attach the carrying strap. Battery is in here. Let me see if I can open that up. Uh, really need a screwdriver. Oh, there we got it. So it uses one of those older type seafoam batteries. The bl dash. I think it's 5C or 4C. So there's, those are quite ready, uh, readily available nowadays. Um, I always would prefer that it, they use standard AAA or AA, but that's fine. I've got a ton of these now because a lot of radios nowadays are using this. On this side, we have the tuning knob. So you can use this to tune or you can use the buttons up here to tune. This is the band select. You get a little closer. Maybe I can get it to uh, focus. Maybe focus. There it is. It's hard to see, but it, it shows you up here what band you're on. This is, again, let me see if I can get it in focus. This is the volume control. Little hard to get to, but not a big deal. You won't use it that much. This is, the first button is on-off. The second one 
is to set uh, a memory location. This one is, I believe, scan forward, either what has been stored in memory, or if you push and hold, it will do a ATS forward. Um, sorry, I'm trying to hold this steady so the camera will focus. Anytime, camera. Gee whiz, why isn't it focused? I guess because I'm, I'm moving so much. Okay. Wake up, camera. Okay, there you kind of see it. So there's the function buttons, <laughs> and I'll go with those later. Um, eh, fairly good size display with a backlight. This is digital. Now, they also sell one that looks identical, except it has an analog display. I didn't like that at all because it was really hard to read where the digital is very easy to read and you get a precise reading on the frequency, which you'll see. There's the speaker. I, I was amazed at the sound quality coming out of this little tiny inexpensive speaker. Uh, like I said, this is a tuning knob and there is no negative headphone jack. So you're not going to use headphones with this. Um, I think that's about it. Let me turn it on for you. It's, it's always, the display is always on, showing you the time. It has um, a clock. It has an alarm you can set. And it has a sleep timer you can set so that you can... Um, listen to the radio and have it go off at a certain time, uh, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever. Uh, like I said, the battery is rechargeable via that cable they provide. The telescopic antenna is fairly short, as you would expect. It's 11 inches, approximately, used for FM, NOAA, and shortwave. Might even be used for AM since it's such a small radio. The dimensions are three and a half inches by 2.1 inches by one and a half inches. That's the dimensions. Pretty small. Very convenient. Little tabs on the bottom for standing it up. I, I, I really am impressed. with It looks well built also. Just the seams are good. I don't know how long the paint on here is going to last. That I don't know. Well, let's turn it on here. Uh, power button on. It's on. Radio. Nice. It talks to you, of course. It tells you which mode it's in. There's a display. It's um, on the shortwave band right now. I wish the backlight would stay on a little longer or even be able to put, uh, switch it on permanently. I forgot what this button here is for. We'll have to look that up uh, in a few minutes in the manual. I forgot. I just totally forgot. I just now recognized it. Um, if you use any buttons or anything, the you know, display backlight comes on. And it's much better than what my camera is trying to show you. Gosh, there we go. Numbers are big enough. It's easy to read. Unfortunately, my camera won't stay focused. Um, I did a couple of scans on the shortwave band using this little antenna. You're not going to get much. You, I did get like three or four strong stations. That was it, though. That was it. Um, so you will really, if you want to listen to shortwave, you're going to have to use this guy, which improves reception on shortwave a little better. Um, or instead of this one, which is only 10 foot, you really should be using one like this that is at least 20 feet and get it up in the air like I've shown you in the past. So that's what you need to do for shortwave. 
AM, FM, no problem. You can receive tons of stations, depending on where you're at, of course. Uh, Noah, let's just try Noah. Let me uh, get that band. There's... Seas one foot or less. There's Noah. Bay and inland water is smooth. Monday, now, one thing I did notice. Seas one let me turn this down. Less. One thing, and you probably noticed it there. It does seem to have a hum on Noah. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if it's something in my office. I haven't tried it outside. I need to do that. But. I mean, you can understand the station, but we turn on and let you listen closely. Now, shut up. Your coastal waters forecast for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Tarpon Springs to Swanee River out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 444 a.m. So, you hear that hum? Small craft. Um, not sure what that is. It does have, and maybe I can correct it using it, it does have an equalizer that it, you can adjust. Let me just look in the manual here. Oh, it also has that green light, <clears throat> excuse me, that tells you it's locked on a station. Another nice little feature. Uh, equalizer, page 12. Manual is uh, a little bit of broken English, so it takes a little interpretation. Let me see what it says. Oop. Unfortunately, I don't have my right gla my reader glasses on. I got my computer monitor glasses on, so hold on. <clears throat> I got new eyes, and I can see great distance, but not up close, and I found that I need two powers of glasses, one for reading my monitor, which is about two feet away, and one for reading things like this manual up close. Okay, so in the equalizer, you can set six equalizer modes. So it's preset. Normal, pop, rock, jazz, classic, and country. Um, I'll have to experiment with that and see if one of those other ones will get rid of that hum or... If I go outside, <clears throat> will it get rid of the hum? I don't understand that hum on the Noah band. Okay, anything else that I haven't gone over to do to do the TF card um, in the player will support MP3, WAV, and WMA files, and it will. Support up to a 256 gigabyte card. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, it weighs about 0.3 pounds. Very light. Very, very light. That's about it. I will, of course, be doing some testing. Um, I don't want to have this show be too long is too long already so i will do that in a separate show um but in general noah which noah transmitter is about 35 miles away and it picks up one of the was it six or seven frequencies for noah so that works fine and it's loud and clear no dropouts i don't even have to have the antenna extended fm Picks up a ton of stations. Um, the other, that's the other thing about the digital one versus the analog. I watched Totterbert's show on the analog one, and I could see where it's really difficult to tune to a precise frequency, especially if you're on shortwave. So that's why I chose the digital one. The digital one, you can... Uh, tune either using the up down buttons or you can use the wheel here and I think it tunes in five Hertz increments 
five hertz. Maybe it's five kilohertz. <laughs> I don't know. Getting old. What the heck? What do you expect? Okay, that's about it. I think I've babbled enough. I, I think right now, from my initial testing, while it's on sale, you should get one. Again, it's on sale by this seller. It's on here. It won't focus, but you can go back and I got it. The manual focus. Z H I W H I S. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's on sale as of this morning for $29.99, I believe. $28.99 versus $45 for the digital one with all the accessories, including the antenna. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them. I love comments. It helps both me and other people that watch this show. Have a great day. Bye-bye.